The jury deliberated over the course of two days. It took them about 10 hours before finding Megan Hargan guilty of two counts of first degree murder. Now, this is the second time actually that this case has gone to trial. Last year, a jury also convicted Hargan of both murders, but that verdict was thrown out by a judge over concerns of jury misconduct. It turns out that one of the jury members actually conducted some of their own outside research and presented some of that research to other members of the jury, which is a no no. Now, this all starts back in 2017. This is when the bodies of Pamela Hargan and her daughter Helen were found in their McLean home. At first, investigators believed that it was a murder-suicide in which Helen had killed her mother and then herself. Investigators found a rifle wedged between Helen's legs and both women had been shot in the head. Detectives later discovered Megan Hargan had been trying to transfer more than $400,000 from her mom's bank account on the day of the killings as she closed on a new home. Prosecutors argued money was Megan's motive and that she attempted fraudulent money transfers from her mother's account. When questioned by investigators, Megan didn't give a clear confession, confession but was unable to answer their questions and at one point told detectives, just blame me. The defense pushed back, arguing Megan was innocent and it was actually her sister Helen who killed their mother, alleging Helen had been upset because her mother didn't approve of her relationship. I did speak to the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office after the verdict, who tells me it was frustrating to have to go to trial once again, but he was thankful that justice was served. He says this is a bittersweet day, though, for the remaining Hargan family members. At the end of the day, real justice would be these people being back here with us. Um, so, in many ways, the, the justice system uh, getting a guilty verdict does not fill that hole, but at least we can give the surviving family members a sense of accountability um, and hopefully put them on their path to healing. Sentencing is set for January 26th. Reporting live in Fairfax County, Mauricio Casillas, News 4.